Hi guys. Old man Chris in the shop. Um, I'll try and make this fairly short. This is actually an intro for Emma's uh, tool competition. And there's a little bit of a cheat involved in as much as uh, although I've got two projects I want to get on with on the lathe uh, my standing is limited to <laughs> probably about five minutes and that's about as much as I can handle so those are on the back burner. Now some of my regulars will have seen me make my new carriage stop uh, not all that long ago it's the last decent project I got onto really and uh, I asked Emma if she would mind if I could uh, re-edit my material and uh, squish it up a bit just to show the basic build so I can at least contribute something to the uh, competition. So I'll show you very quickly what uh, the old carriage stop was and why I wanted to make a new one. Uh, I think that's about all I need to tell you. I'll hopefully get the main video together in the fairly near future. Uh, <laughs> the one thing I know won't be possible is that I won't be at the bash. Uh, really want to be there but what with uh, travel costs and probably more important to be honest I can't even sit still for long so I wouldn't be able to travel and I certainly wouldn't be able to enjoy standing around talking to all you folks who I really want to meet but uh, it ain't going to happen. Anyway, uh, let's get on. I'll just show you the uh, basics of the plan of action for this carriage stop. I'll try and just give you an idea of what I've been using actually for a number of decades. Simple block, a couple of very basic uh, Titan bolts and there's a padding block in there to protect the ways and the saddle has a probe here which has got a a ball bearing crimped in and that then touches the block and in normal use I would set the block to suit do it up and uh, get on with the job in hand. But that is not really accurate enough for some purposes although I do also use a magnetic often use a magnetic uh, dial indicator. This is a bit tight on there. That's all it is. Whoever made it, which was before I had the lathe, obviously used it quite a lot and uh, it's, it's basically served me quite well but I need a lot better. Uh, so there you are guys that's my going to be my offering and uh, I'll try and keep the build video as concise as I can uh, just to give I think I said just to give the flow of the build and uh, the finished product all right so good luck to all who are joining Emma's competition. Thank you to her for setting it up and for the time being thanks for watching.